This time we're being joined by the executive director, not too young to lead initiative, and that's Elvis Akobi. Elvis, many thanks for joining us. We're pressed for time, so uh, we're going to get started. What are your expectations for the Edo State Governorship elections? Okay, for me, I know we have, um, I'm of this opinion that we have three critical sectors to make this election free, fair, and credible before and after. The, the, the policemen, the security on board, the umpire, electoral umpire, and the people. In a democratic setting like we have in Nigeria, the people determine who governs them. And often time, we don't, we don't be able to build trust with the electoral umpire. I was a privileged electoral observer for the, uh, the last um, election in Liberia. If you, if you, if I take it back to memory lane, there was a runoff. It, just because a particular candidate did not meet up what it takes to become a president. And I saw the electoral umpire so passionate about being free and uh, performing, uh, on, performing a free, fair, and credible election. I had to engage most of the officials there. They were passionate on, on giving that, that the voice of the people should matter, not what they think and not true by us. But if you agree with me, what has been happening lately in Edo State, you have seen videos of the political big wheel touching down Edo State for and against, but it's time we started amplifying the need that we are practicing democracy. The people should determine who governs them in the next four years. The voice of police intimidation, the voice of high officials, which are the electoral umpire, not being biased. Because often time in Nigeria, in our crime, we notice that the wrong people end up becoming the leaders. Not because they found their way through easily, but because they connect with people who you build trust on. And I don't think at those states, I don't think we expect that with those states. So I'd love to, in a sense, I want to urge the people of those states to know that incompetent dressed up as a strategy is still incompetent and still totally unacceptable. They still should not forget that the times we are in at the moment. They should know that whoever they elect tomorrow or on Saturday we make policies that will either make or mar their life in the next four years. And, and, and At the Elvis, moment we have three. Yeah. Right, Elvis. Uh, just to just to ask, do you think that the election will be free and fair? You know, I mean, with all that we've heard, there's a heavy security presence. The police is ready to work full on. They've told us about the security arrangements and how they'll be cooperating with, you know, the sister uh, security agencies. Plus, they will be on ground uh, via air and even on water. But do you still see any ch challenges that would hinder the success of the elections? I'm hoping that the elections will be free and fair. Like I've always said, to make progress, we must build trust. They try to have lost confidence in the electoral umpire. Going to the part to their previous elections, they did. But still, I still want to urge the people of Edo State to stand that their actions and inactions on Saturday will determine how they, their well being in the next four years. It's at the moment what we need in Nigeria has nothing to do with this on the political left or the political left, right. It has a lot to do with people who know that. This person, check this person's proven track record, and this person will deliver. If they can do well in, a private, in their own private businesses, I think they can do well, go on and do better. So for me, they should look for those proven track record and elect that person. Right. Now, from your observations, how prefer, prepared uh, is the, do you think the Independent National Electoral Commission is for, for these elections? They will, I think they are prepared. They will always tell you they are prepared. But often time, my my exceptions with them have to do with often time there was electoral reforms, and then the, if you agree with the last general election, what was in the act did not reflect was not what the chairman, the INEC chairman, uh, did. The, the act says that um, electronic voting, you may you vote, it goes to the server and all that, but during the uh, the electoral uh, the election process. So, I noticed that the, the chairman was misinterpreting, was interpreting that act 
another way around. And the masses were not too, the electorate were not too okay with it. I want to urge the chairman and his team, while I want to commend them, they should know that their actions and inactions will determine how Nigeria will look like. This, uh, this election is a, another litmus test to build the confidence of Nigerians ahead of the general elections in 2027. And they should also know that their actions at the moment will determine how a those state will look like. They are faced with insecurity, lack of infrastructure across the country today. And until you start putting the right people in the right positions, we we'll continue being plagued with these things. And when we are plagued with these things, crime rate will increase. All right. And when crime rate increases, we can't have it right as a country. All right. Well, Elvis, many thanks for doing this with us. As always, we appreciate you for coming on. Elvis, uh, I'll be there uh, from the Not Too Young to Lead uh, initiative. Mm -hmm.